Welcome to Farflang. We are a unique crew of creatures working together to share the news of Yeshua, the great lion who saves. As we travel the world, we grow in his word along the way. Join us as we traverse the hot savannah, trek the frozen tundra, and navigate dense jungles. So pack your bags, it's time for Adventures with Farflow. Testing one. Testing one, two, three. Come on. Get this thing in focus. It's so difficult doing this thing by myself. Oh, I think I've got it. Hello there. I'm Coyle the Otter here at the Farflung headquarters here in the Farflung forest. Never heard of the Farflung forest? <laughs> well, here it is. Hectares of mountains, waterfalls, and of course, forests. It's a beautiful place for our treehouse. And it was built to be a meeting place for those who spread the good news of the gospel. We do a lot of amazing things here at the headquarters. I'd love to show you around. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I have been exploring for years now, but I had a whole other life before Farflung. Really, I had a whole other life before what I call the Great Rescue. You see, I was a film director. I made marvelous, exciting movies. I created these made-up stories of adventure and perilous journeys. But I wasn't truly happy. I had something giant missing in my life, and I didn't know what it was. <laughs> but he did. Who is that, you ask? Well, Yeshua. I didn't know Yeshua. But he surely knew me. One day, shooting a scene on what looked like a mountaintop. It just wasn't working, and we took a break to rewalk the scene. As I looked over the script, I was greeted by a great lion. I should say, THE great lion. Yeshua met me right there, and he told me the story of Earth being formed. About sin about how he came to save everyone, how he came to save me. Right there I gave my heart to the Lord and he offered me an invitation. I could continue to film these fictitious adventures or I could go on real adventures. I had the opportunity to travel around the globe and tell others I was rescued by Yeshua and they could be rescued too. I was astonished. I was about to embark on a real adventure. <laughs> and I've been exploring the most remote places on Earth ever since. Along the way, I found out about other critters who have been rescued by Yeshua and are doing the same thing. And so I created the Wall of Tin Cans. And here we are, the Wall of Tin Cans. You can make a call on the wall by picking up one of these tin cans and calling Ecuador or the Arctic or Thailand. We have run these strings around the world. We have strung strings across the continents. We have even run them deep within the ocean floors. <laughs> I have a friend named Celia the Lioness. She grew up in Brazil and now lives in Africa in Gumbani village. Let's give her a call. These labels are falling again. Ah. Ah. <laughs> All right, let's try to make a call now. This is Polly. Oh. You're not Celia. I, I, I never claimed to be. My apologies, good sir. I tried to reach my friend Celia the Lioness. Did I by chance call Africa? Um, you, you called Connecticut. Is, is, that, is that close to Africa? Surely not. Would you mind holding while I retrieve a map? Sure, I'll wait. <laughs> hmm. 
You're right. It's nowhere near Africa. I've got these strings all mixed up again. My sincerest apologies. Uh, um, it's really not a problem. Um, I mean, I, I, I live alone, so this was, it was kind of the highlight of my day. Splendid. Oh, Polly, do you by chance have a personal relationship with Yeshua? Ye Yeshua, the, the great lion who saves? That's the one. I actually do. When I was a kid, I accepted him into my heart in a church service, and he's been present ever since. Remarkable. Well, Paulie, I must get on the phone with Celia the Lioness. Oh. You take care. Okay, I guess. Uh, well, thanks for calling. Well, see ya. What is this? That was weird. Well, I am almost certain that this is the correct tin can to reach our friend Celia. Shall we try again? Hello, this is Celia the Lioness. Bom dia, Celia. It's Kyle the Otter here at Far Flung HQ. Oh, bom dia, Kyle, my friend. How are you? I'm fine. I'm just trying to get some videos completed. Oh, were you able to finish those letters to our friends who helped us build the water tower? I'm afraid not. I will be getting to that as soon as I finish staining the banisters on the observation deck. Bro, you have so much to do. I don't know how you can do all that by yourself. It is overwhelming. I believe that you're doing a good thing and Yeshua will start to send others to help be a part. That sounds wonderful, Celia. Talk to you soon. Okay, ciao, my friend. Huh? <laughs> I know that sound. It looks like we have mail coming in. Oh my, this mail is really piling up. I never have time to go through all these letters. You see, we often have friends write us letters and send us videos with questions about missions or sometimes how they are making a difference in missions. You don't always have to go around the world to make an impact. Sometimes people pray. They create creative fundraisers to help others in need. I am always encouraged by mail. Let's read a letter now. It looks like we have a letter from some siblings. Eden, Zion, Shiloh, and Aloe have sent us a video with their questions. Let's take a look. What is your question about missions? Who has a question? Raise your hand. Eden. Do missionaries share the word of God? Do missionaries share the word of God? That's a great question, Eden. Of course they do. That is the primary role of a missionary to find others who do not know about Yeshua and share them the good news that he has come to save. What is a missionary? There are all types of missionaries in the world. They all do different functions. They help feed and they help clothe. They start churches. But the common thing in all of these different practices is that the missionary shares the word of God. Where's my mystery of God? Okay. What was your question? Where's my mystery of God who changed the world? Okay. Awesome. What is the mystery of God that changed the round world? This is a deep question from Little Aloe. One thing that I continue to find the more mysteries I try to solve about God, the more I find. <laughs> Thank you, friends, for writing in to us today. <laughs> if you would like to send a letter or a video, you can reach us here at the Treetop Headquarters. Ah, it's my dear friend and fellow explorer, Kyle the Human. Hello, Kyle, my good friend. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Thanks for letting me come up. Usually when we see each other, it's in other climates and extreme conditions. It's crazy how we met. We were in the Amazon and I had a whole team there doing a big project. 
and I decided to step away and chart a part of the jungle that nobody had been to before. And I had been doing the same, not knowing anyone else was there. And all of a sudden, we both discovered the same jungle at the same time. <laughs> Remarkable. And you know, I knew we'd become friends from that very moment. <laughs> Come, let's make some tea and chat about that expedition, shall we? <laughs> there you go. Ah, thank you. You know, I've always wondered, your accent is so peculiar. Where exactly are you from? Oh, I have traveled all over the world. But, but, but where, where are you from? <laughs> oh, boy. I'll never forget sitting at the banks of the Amazon, singing in that wonderful worship song. You know, I can still hear it. As I feel you move through me, it is here where you make wrong things right. And your spirit opens my eyes and my heart, it comes alive, and it's your love bringing me to life. Oh, I said to your river deep as I feel you move through me. Right. And your spirit opens my eyes and my heart It comes alive and it's your love Bringing me to life Oh, there's joy in the waters Let your river rush in over my soul I'm free, I'm cleansed, I'm made whole
this joy in your waters Let your river rushing over my soul I'm free, I'm cleansed, I'm made whole I've been made new So with everything you guys are doing in missions, how's it all going? Uh, to be honest, it's been overwhelming. I just can't seem to get everything accomplished that I want to. Can I give you some advice? Please. You know, when I first started out traveling and trying to help my friends around the world, um, I tried to do it alone. And eventually I realized it was just too much for me to do by myself. There's only so much that I could accomplish on my own. And I realized that, that God had put people in my life to, to run a race with. You know, Ecclesiastes 4, 9, and 10, I believe, says, two are better than one because they have a better return on their labor. And if one of them falls, they can help the other up. It's just really hard to do things alone. And, and I, I really think God wants us to have friends to lean on when we're, when we're scared or when we think that something's too hard, they can encourage us to get it done. You know, it's just, it's so helpful to have friends in our lives. And I think that might be the best thing for you. This is so good. I believe it's time to build a team to accomplish all that Yeshua has for us. I think so too. Hey, I believe in you. Goodbye, Kyle the human. Mic check. Okay, mic check, mic check, mic check. Yep, okay. I think I've got it. Hello, I'm Kyle the Altar here at the Reflection Rock. I love this beautiful place and all of its splendor. I like to come up to this place to think and reflect on Yeshua and all he's done in my life. You know, the scriptures. <clears throat> the scriptures. Uh, the scriptures. <clears throat> The scripture says, <clears throat> This microphone is not working again. Hmm. All right. Looks like I'm going to have to go into town to buy a new microphone. Hmm. Okay. We shall resume this video when we get back with a new microphone. Let's go on an expedition to the city. To the city. Hey bro, do you guys have a analog multiband compressor with parametric equalization? Hey. Hey, do you have a analog multiband compressor with parametric equalization? Uh, that sounds pretty expensive. Uh, I think we have it, but I'm not sure if we do or what it is really so i'll go check in the back all right thanks i appreciate that yeah so are you gonna check oh yeah Hello, sir. Yes. Can I just get two tagalongs, three dosi dos, and if you don't have dosi dos, I'll take those little thin mints. Ha <laughs> I am not selling cookies. I am an explorer, and I am looking for a microphone for my expeditions. Oh, right. Sorry, bro. Yeah, I don't work here. I'm actually a music producer. I'm just waiting on some gear myself. Is this it? That's a tire. Hello, good sir. I am in search for a microphone 
for my expeditions. Cool. What kind of videos? Ah, I serve Yeshua, the great lion who saves. He sends me around the globe to those who haven't met him yet. If you don't know him yet... Buy this one. You are so helpful. Hmm. Oh, no. You know, it just occurred to me that I left my wallet at home. Would you excuse me while I retrieve it? Is this what you're looking for? gone for like 12 hours i've been counting because i'm still here too thank you friend if you ever need anything please don't hesitate to call farflung we have dedicated our lives to helping others and spreading the gospel in the most remote places on earth now that is pretty cool how big is your team well as of now it's just me thank you lad <sighs> Ah, uh, testing one. Testing one, two, three. Perfect. Hello, it's Kyle the Altar here at the beautiful Reflection Rock Point. I love this place. I like to come here and sit alone and gather my thoughts. And... Yo! This view is sick, bro. This is where you were climbing to? Uh, how did you get up here? Bro, I've been following you for like three hours through this jungle. Forest. That too. Whew. I am exhausted. You're in pretty good shape. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. You know, this will be a good place to gather some thoughts. My sentiments as well. It is for this reason I came here to... Look, that last ten minutes up that rock really did me in. I'm just going to sit down. Look, man. I think what you're doing is pretty dope. There's a lot of creatures out there who haven't heard the gospel, and I think this is really important. I produce music. It's what I'm really passionate about, and I think I'm pretty good at it. If you could use somebody like me on the team, I'd love to be a part. Jeremy, welcome aboard Team Farflung. <laughs> We're happy to have you. Sweet. I'm not wearing that outfit. <laughs> <laughs> and so a new day began. Farflung went from a single person initiative to a strong team. Jeremy the raccoon was simply the first to join, but the treehouse would soon be filled with all types of creatures who accepted Yeshua's call. Animals that are soft and others that are tough. Several can fly, and some can roar. Critters with paws and creatures with hooves. All different, but making up one big family. Maybe you could call this a herd, or maybe a pack. We call ourselves Farflung. Great song. 
Mm -hmm. Good chip. Who would throw these away? Oh, hey, bro. It's four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, bro. I'm nocturnal. I remember I'm a raccoon. Don't sleep. So you're always up at this hour? Yeah, man. This is lunchtime for me right here. Are you eating out of my garbage? Yeah, well, you know what they say. One man's garbage is another man's lunch. <laughs> Did you empty the vacuum in here? Oh, hey, uh, by the way, I made a like and subscribe song for the end of these videos so that people will remember to like the video and uh, subscribe to the channel. So uh, we should probably play that. When did you have time to? And here we go. Adventures with Farflung was filmed in a live forest. No puppets were harmed in the making of this adventure. We cordially invite you to join us on our next adventure. <laughs> <laughs>